Uh, right, okay, let me check the Euro AUD also. Euro AUD, let me see today. Yeah, Euro AUD is really aggressively bullish. Again, because of the weak AUD today. The blue one AUD has been really weak. So, yeah, we, we see uh, lots of AUD pairs trends today. So here is the Euro AUD on the daily time frame and looks like it's breaking the resistance. The resistance of uh, 1.5978. And uh, the next resistance level is all the way up here, which is 1.6230. So we have enough room to trade. The room up to there is uh, 220 pips or so. So we have enough room. So this one is nicely uptrending. However, if you look at the Kumo shape, this is too thin. The Kumo shape on Euro AUD is really thin. So we want to wait until the Kumo gets more thicker and uh, wait for, look for a buying opportunity on this one. And when Kumo gets thick is when Senkospan B goes flat and Senkospan A keeps going up or goes flat and go up and that will make the Kumo even thicker. And so when the Kumo becomes thick like this happens is that uh, when the market reverses, if the market retraces, and consolidate and then break. This will be a better setup to buy. For now, because of the Thinkmo, I can see that this is overbought. So the market might reverse, is my expectation. Especially for the last two days, today and yesterday, we had the big bullish Kumo, big bullish uh, candles. So um, the market might retrace. And we may see some inside bars for the next couple of days, and then finally breaks. So that I think would be a better scenario to buy. So yeah, I think I will wait for that because of the Kumo shape again. So it looks like we have lots of uh, lessons on the Kumo itself among the um, AUD pairs. So that's another lesson on the Euro AUD. And also, let me check the Pound AUD. This is another AUD pair. And it's bullish today too. But the Pound AUD is uh, very close to the resistance level, which is up here, 1.8032. And uh, Kumo shape is really small. Kumo is really small, and uh, sen uh, um, Kijun Sen is now flat. So that means the power balance between buyers and sellers are 50-50. So that means it may not break that resistance. It may consolidate. And then finally breaks. It's my feeling. So for now, I don't enter trade. I wait for the breakout of the resistance 1.8032 and look for a buying opportunity. And the target on this one is to the next swing high, 1.8267. That's the potential target. So the market may be there in reverse. I will exit is my scenario. So for now, I wait for the breakout. Yeah, so that's a pound AUD. So, so far it looks like um, AUD USD and also AUD CAD are um, nice pairs to monitor. And AUD CIS franc is also down, but Kumo is too small. And single span B is up, single span A is down, so it may reverse. And then Euro AUD, Kumo is also too thin, so a retracement may happen.